this is a really big review I've got for you this time. It's a product by Goodman's. Goodman's is a British company that has been around since 1923. This is the bass sound system, which is kind of similar to a sound bar. So for this one, yeah, it's really good quality for the price. It's under £200, it's £170 in the UK. There's six speakers. It's all in one sound entertainment system for your TV. If you haven't got your TV mounted on the wall and you have it on its stand, you can put the stand and the TV on top of this. That's what it's called base, because it's like a base for your TV. It also has Bluetooth connectivity to stream wirelessly your music from like your tablet or smartphone to the base station. It also has NFC, pair and tap, to make sure you get really good uh, volume at high qualities it does actually have a hundred watt power at most about say 65 it also uses something by another company I think it's called Drac, I think that's how you say it, Drac HD sound which basically tunes it each model by each company using their tools and software to get the best possible sound quality out of the particular model. So you can see the box, I don't know if you can read really what's on it, it says six speaker HD sound technology fills the room with incredible sound. It's supposed to have cinema style, cinema quality sound from this. Uh, it has like I say Bluetooth, let's see what else is in the box. Uh, my shadow is probably going to get in the way a bit here. Top hasn't really got much on it, it just says Goodman's brilliantly simple. Okay, not a lot to see on the box. Now, at the moment, I probably haven't told you all the details, all the features, that's because I'm going to just unbox it for now, then we'll get to more features and information later. So, excuse my shadow. Got a knife here which looks, looks like a Michael Myers from Halloween movies or something here. Although his I'm sure is much sharper than this because this is hardly cut through at all. By the way I don't know if you can really see there are some symbols on the box here. Yeah, basically it says Bluetooth streaming 100 watts lots of connectivity and 4.2 channel speakers. So it has six individual speakers inside it and does 4.2 channel. Let's see what's inside. Okay, as you see, you have the unit itself here. It's all black. Considering a lot of devices for TV, such as Apple TV box, tend to be black, I thought I wouldn't like the actual look of it much. But in fact, it, they've done quite a nice job. You have, if you can see, I'm not sure, along the front is a grill where the speakers are, then matte sort of finish to the top, then at the side, each of the sides is kind of uh, more glossy black. Oh, by the way, it was well packaged, it had lots of foam and other protection, so it's well packaged. I'm not sure if you can see, probably not, but down here it says Goodman's in black, but not too obvious. Not sure where you can see this on one of the sides to the left side of the side, if you see what I mean. You have a sticker, it can probably come off. It says touch here for near field communication, NFC. You have power. I haven't used this yet, so I don't know, but this is obviously like different uh, channels or whatever. I'll tell you later. And volume up and down here. It is quite heavy, but You've got to set it up and you might not move it around a lot, so it isn't too important. It doesn't really need to be portable and lightweight, of course. It's a fair size. I'll find out the measurements of roughly how big it is later. On the other side, you know I showed the one side has a power button and things. The other side doesn't have any, and now I'm going to show you the back. If you can see all the ports clearly on the screen, I'm not sure. Okay, here you have a big hole. I'm not really sure what that's for. 
Again, this I'm only really unboxing it now, so I'll tell you later on in the video more details. Goodman's logo is next to that, to the left of it. Caution sticker. Eight uh, figure eight power plug. Now let's see what else we've got here. I can't see myself. Optical, digital optical, digital coaxial, aux in for auxiliary in, and line in with a white and red port. Okay. And that's about it. They do say with this you don't need a separate subwoofer, which is quite good. Most sound bars, you have the sound bar, then you have the separate subwoofer connected to that. I did have a sound bar. This isn't technically a sound bar, it's kind of its own thing. It's an all-in-one system, but I'm just comparing it to a sound bar. The sound bar I had wasn't very good. It was by Philips. It wasn't really all that good. The best thing about it was a subwoofer. However, I had a new dog as a pup. He chewed the wire that goes from the subwoofer to the rest of this, the system and it's proprietary end that doesn't unconnect. It's sort of stuck in the box so you can't really re uh, really replace it. So you're not going to, because there is a separate subwoofer, you're not going to have an issue anyway. And all the connections, as far as I can see, are not proprietary. You have digital coaxial, digital optical, which you're mostly going to use and a normal figure eight power plug. So I don't really see, there's nothing, no cable you can replace if you got chewed by your dog or damaged or through water, whatever might happen. By the way, the hole I'm about here, which I'm gonna check later, is also a separate, another one here. And also in the box is a box, okay? Here is a little white box. Let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, one thing I see nice straight away is it comes with a couple AAA batteries if you need it for the controller, I believe. Let's have a look. Batteries. Standard figure eight power plug for the UK. Um, if you get this in another country and it only comes with this one still, you can probably find out how to replace it with your own power plug or get an adapter. Adapter would probably be the easiest. It comes with a basic controller. It comes with a basic controller here. It has a mute button, a power button, line in, auxiliary in, Bluetooth button, optical button, coaxial button, volume up and down, bass up and down, treble up and down, and with the Goodman's logo. Okay. Then you have this, which you're probably not really going to use. It's just simply. I believe the for the auxiliary in, it's the old older type that you probably are going to use. Well, I think this is it here. This I believe, yeah, I believe that is the optical and digital optical, which more often than not you're going to want this, such as for the Apple TV box or the PlayStation 4. That is probably the end you're going to use the most. What else do we have? We have a basic little manual here. Did you know bass can play music from a Bluetooth enabled device? It's got some instructions there about how to do it. How to connect to your TV. Choose the source. Getting started. And if you want to know more, go to goodmans.co.uk forward slash support. Is there anything else? Let's say. This is just a guarantee and safety booklet like you get with everything. Okay, so that is the unboxing. In a minute we'll cut away and we'll go on to the review once I've had a chance to really try this out. Okay, this is it set up. I haven't got a flat screen TV actually sitting on top of it as it's sort of, uh, sort of intended for really, but you don't have to. I've set it up with my brother's computer here because it's a bit easier for me to film. And here's XTV now uses monitor is mounted on the wall and it's mounted on the wall of the TV in the living room anyway. But this is it rigged up. You can perhaps see, I'm not sure until I get a bit closer, but you might be able to see to the right of it behind the grill there is actually a light, power light, that you don't see when it's uh oh, when it's unplugged. When it's on standby, the light is red. Then, as a neat touch, you might say it's a bit of a gimmicky sort of thing, but I think it shows that some thoughts has been put into it. 
on the controller the different inputs are different coloured buttons such as um, optical is white, coaxial is yellow and when you select the different inputs on the controller the light is a different colour depending upon what input you're using on the light on the far right there but maybe some people think it's a bit gimmicky but I think it shows some thoughts been put into the product also if you press the middle button of the coloured buttons which is dark blue it will go dark blue and that is for Bluetooth and it will also start flashing waiting for you to pair it and stream your music now most of the specs I think I actually went into pretty well unboxing but I'll go through it again is six speaker HD audio so six speakers in there with 4.2 channels so it's not just two channel stereo there is 4.2 channels altogether it also claims but uh, on their website to be a powerful room filling audio that fills the entire room and I do believe that from my experience with it it does seem to fill the room pretty well and almost have a sort of a surround effect especially if you're gaming and that is without the volume full blast or anything that's sort of a normal sort of volume level uh, the controller also has an up and down for bass and for treble so you can adjust those you know when you've got to the, as far as bass or the treble will go because if you keep pressing up on the bass it will keep flickering as you're doing it the light on the box but then when it's full blast no matter how many times you press up the light stays solid the same in reverse if you're going down if you see what I mean it also has I think I mentioned this it has a mute button and a power up button on the device as well as well as volume up and down it is 100 watt so you should be able to get it very loud if you need to uh, without the audio distorting at all uh, most sound bars are around about I think 65 watt normally this is 100 watt they claim exceptional cinema style audio and they say that it's guaranteed with a built in patented DRAC HD sound technology I'll put a link in the description for you to sh uh, so you look up information about what that DRAC HD sound is as I mentioned about the controller you can stream your music or audiobooks or whatever via Bluetooth wirelessly or as a nice little addition if you have a mobile phone or perhaps even a tablet that supports near field communication also known as F NFC you can do a tap and pair so you tap you tap your smartphone or whatever on the side of the box and it stream gets it all linked up and streams there is no need for any other speakers or subwoofers uh, basically it has subwoofer built into the box so you get a nice bassy rumbling sound like on explosions and games lightning in movies you know sort of thunder it sounds really alive and realistic I should note that it's not the subwoofer built in because it is one built in and it's going to be the same not just with this brand but with really any subwoofers that are built into soundbars the subwoofer isn't as good as a dedicated separate box but it's never going to be but I still think it's really good for a built-in subwoofer as far as inputs go I have mentioned you've got the digital optical in and digital coaxial in which is great because some blu-ray players only have coaxial so you have that if you need it yet most devices such as uh, computers Apple TV box PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, whatever, most have a uh, digital optical but occasionally you'll get a device that uses coaxial for some reason so you have both options on this which is handy it also in addition has RCA in and 3.5mm in it is designed unlike many soundbars to go underneath your TV so if you have your TV on a stand not mounted on a wall you can actually sit it on top neatly it takes up less room than other soundbars which has it all separate and you've got to put it somewhere or mount it or whatever you want to do with it this is one of the few that actually go under your TV discreetly it costs about £170 in the UK which is a lot of money of course but a lot of soundbars are over over £100 by quite a bit yet this you get 
basically an expensive piece of kit for a lot less money than it's actually worth and I know I'm not an audiophile but after using it, I used it first of course so I wasn't swayed by other people's reviews I went and looked some other reviews up and that is exactly what other people think and say as well it's very high quality sound for the price range so that's really good it's made by a British brand as I've mentioned earlier Goodman's which have been around since 1928 mostly started off making radios they still make radios in fact they make the new DAB digital radios okay I am now actually <coughs> going to turn this on and play a piece of music that I made a while ago to show you kind of the how it, you know what it sounds like although of course you ha must bear in mind that recording something is never ever going to sound as good as actually being there and hearing it in the room so bear in mind but I'll do this anyway just to give you a bit of an idea and you might be able to sort of hear like the subwoofer things like that okay so let's turn it on okay it's on white which is optical into the Windows 8.1 PC I'll now play the first piece of music then I'll play some royalty free music I found on the net which I'll put in the description uh, the details of which has a song in it to give you an idea of that as well This is a song, it's called Deja Vuas. It's by. Uh, I'm not actually sure, but I'll put the artist's name and the title of the song in the description. Also, bear in mind, this is on default settings. I haven't turned the bass or the treble up or down. actually turn the bass up now to full blast for you. That is bass full blast now. Now how about we turn actually the bass right down and put the treble up. So the bass is going down. Now treble is going full blast. Travels full blast, bass right down. Now bass is going right, right up. Right, bass and treble are now full blast. That's it muted and as you can probably just see off to the right the power light indicator thing is flashing to show that it's muted so you know so you don't think you've got a problem if you're getting you know if you forgot you muted it. Okay, so I think that's a good little test there, even though it won't be as good as hearing it for yourself, just to give you a bit of an idea. So do I recommend it? Yes, I really do. I love it. And if I didn't get it to review, it might be something now having tried it out myself, I would get it myself. It is really, really good. Both mo movies, music and games all sound really good. And it's not just the subwoofer effect with the explosions and things. It is voices sound crystal clear as well. 
and you can adjust the base and that if you, you find it's too much or not enough. So I definitely recommend it. So thanks for, to Goodman's for sending this out to me to review. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and if you could do me a favour and subscribe to my channel as it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.